Hey, welcome back to my channel, my lovely peeps. I am in the kitchen today. All right, so what you making? I'm going to make you some crunchy, delicious beef patties. All right, nice, nice. All right, so tell me what's the ingredients. Here I have a pound of um, minced beef. Subconsciously, I just like to wash my meat, so I kind of rinse it a little bit. They said not to wash ground beef, but I just rinse it off. I have three cups of flour here. I have butter. I have vegetable shortening. I have some breadcrumbs. I have curry, turmeric, salt, sugar, garlic, thyme, scotch bonnet pepper, onion, scallion. Over here, I have black pepper. I have the salt. I have all-purpose seasoning. I have my famous Jamaican jerk seasoning. This is the powdered one and it doesn't have any pepper in there but it has pimento seeds and stuff like that. And I have my mushroom sauce, my complete seasoning, seasoning salt, and flavor bend seasoning. All right, nice, nice. So this butter is frozen. You gotta use really, really cold butter. Why, mom? Yeah, because it melts really fast and if you don't have it, really cold to blend in that because you have to put it back in the freezer you're not gonna get a nice patty it's just gonna run all over the place oh so the pat so okay so basically basically she's trying to say guys is that the, the to, wait basically she's trying to say to make the patty taste good and, and the and flaky the patty in order for the patty to be good the butter has to be cold yes you so can't use lukewarm room temperature butter none of that okay so i'm gonna grate her the butter and of course you can cut them. I just have a little grater like this, so I just like to grate it. Alright, so let me put the vegetable shot in. How much just like one spoon mom? Like a tablespoon and a half. Okay. Of course I'm going to use more later. Alright, so I'm going to go in the flour with the butter and the shortening. You have to move fast with this because you don't want the butter melt on you, especially now in the summertime. Yes. Yeah. Alright, so you got to go in. With the turmeric? That's the curry, right? The turmeric. Any one of them, it doesn't matter. And the curry and the salt and the sugar. Does it matter if you use um, brown, brown and white or white sugar? White sugar? Oh. No. And then make sure you wash your hands and then you can just go in and do that because you want to get that really lumpy like feelings from the butter, not to make it too soft or anything like that, but you just want to get that translucent kind of feeling from it. Alright, and I'm gonna give my cold water now. Why cold mom? Because you have to keep the butt the butter. Oh cold, cold as well. Water. Yes. So okay. you have to use cold water or you can use cold milk or something like that. Oh but hear that guys, don't use yes. hot, don't use warm water, use yeah. cold, cold, yeah. cold. And don't knead the dough too much either, because you don't want it to be too soft, you just want to bring it to a ball. It smells good already. It must be the turmeric and the curry. Mm -hmm. I and mean, everybody loves Jamaican beef patties. I don't know anybody who don't like Jamaican beef patties. See guys, now you can have your, your patty at home now, made fresh from scratch. All right, so now my dough is mixed, so I'm just gonna put it in some cellophane paper here, and I'm gonna just put this in the freezer. The freezer? About, in the fridge for half an hour okay. until I'm ready to. So you so so pan. just to let you know, mom, you cover it. You have to cover it with saran wrap. Yes. Okay. And just put it in the fridge for it to cool because you put the butter in there. You don't want the butter to get melted. So you're gonna put it in the fridge, in the fridge 
I'll make this pizza like two for you. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle all my pulled bird seasoning. So I put some all purpose seasoning. And this is my complete seasoning. And this is the Jamaica jerk seasoning. But this is not, this doesn't have any heat in there. That's the adobo. I think it's just a little bit of salt she's using. Yeah, not too much because you have salt in the bowl already. Uh, what is that? Complete original blend? Flavor, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to set this aside a little bit. No, Marinade. And then I, yeah, I'm going to cook up my green seasoning and all that. So you see guys, she's putting the bre breadcrumbs. This is just a mini blender. So yeah. she's going to um, crumble these up. I'm gonna make like the slurry for the, the beef, the minced beef. Bread comes in water. Okay, so now I'm going to make the beef. So, remember you don't want your patties to be too greasy, so I'm just gonna use about, about a tablespoon of oil in the pot. She's just eyeballing it. Yeah, I think that will do. Cause this beef I think is 75% lean and 50% fat, so you know that I have some fat already. So, just putting all my green seasoning. We started with the onions. Mm -hmm. oh, it's a From this, so I'm gonna go in with my garlic, and of course the garlic gives it such good flavor. My thyme. Oh yes, you can smell the aroma coming from it. I put everything together. I don't want it to be lumpy. I want them to be as fine as possible. I don't want to put any heat in the pot and the pot it tastes lumpy. I don't Alright, so I'm gonna leave that there just for a few, for about five minutes and come back. I'm gonna cover it. Let me put some soy sauce. I don't want you the party to be light too light. I don't have any bone so I'm using this dark sauce. The mushroom soy sauce, yeah. And of course you have to be careful because it's the soy sauce is salty, so you don't want your beef to be too salty either. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little ketchup. Taste it and see. Okay. 
to ask me. All right, I'm just gonna turn this on. I'm just let it simmer for a little bit more before I put the breadcrumbs in. Yeah, hey guys. So, all right. So she finished. She finished taking off the stove, right? So now we're using an emulsifier. This is what's gonna help emulsify or just break down the meat. The now, if you it's don't, not that lumpy. yes. But if you don't have one, just use a blender to to grind the and meat. Just pulp it. To just two pulp. They don't need a lot of pulp in because they don't want it to crush the meat too much. It's nice. not that lumpy. Yeah. Yeah. So this will make your patty taste nice and juicy. All right. So now I'm going to go in with my breadcrumbs. And this is the breadcrumbs that I blend. With the water. Yeah. All right. Look how juicy that is. So my beef is ready. So I'm just gonna put it there and leave it to cool down for a bit. All and right. then I go ahead and start making my patties. All right, so let me flow my surface. Yeah, cause she's about to work clean on off, the pastry. Clean off my surface here. Go on by the flour hit. By the rolling pin. Okay, so my dough is ready. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do half at a time. And then I'm gonna put this back in the fridge. You see she has to fold it and then we're just going to roll it again. Alright, so I'm going to go here with my some butter. I'm just shortening. I'm just shortening. Oh, so the first time what you do, you have to roll it once and roll you it. fold it yeah. once and then you roll it and then you have to go back and you, now you add the... Really, you let it work very quick because you don't want the blood to melt up and then you your shot and do start becoming soft. goes my dough to make my patties. I'm gonna put my fillings in. I'll put like about two tablespoons of um, no, two and a half. Two, two tablespoons. And hold it like this. I put a little head wash in there and this is just to lock my fillings in. I use my fork to seal it like that. Yeah, a little meat was peeping out but I'm trying <laughs> to close it up. Mm -hmm. That happens. Alright, so that's one. Party number one. I'm gonna use this to make some more. So I'm not done with that yet. It's 
so see guys yeah this is the last one she did so she's gonna continue doing the rest of them it's a it's a whole batch that she has to do okay but we just wanted to just show you the process I'm gonna highlight my baking thing. I'm gonna just nicely lay my patty. Nicely lay. Alright, so my patty is going here now. My patties. No, the patty. Patty, <laughs> patty. patty. Jamaican beef patty. patty. Yes. They're going in the oven. They're going in on 400 for 20 minutes. Alright. I'm gonna take my patties out. I'm gonna let them look at them. So I'm gonna just leave them there and let them cool off. All right, guys. So now she's just gonna the first batch right over there. She did it without the egg white. So this one she's gonna put the egg white. It's optional. You don't necessarily have to, but um, I kind of like that coat. It just depends. Not everybody likes it. But it depends on how you like your uh, your crust, the flakes of the pastry to be. And we say like if you're gonna bake it, I know we said 20 minutes, but you can do between 20 to 25 minutes. Have it guys um juicy flaky beef patties don't forget to like share and subscribe and please 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 share and i just hope you guys just enjoy and try to make these and i hope you know this wonderful patty um, is so good and delicious and you guys like it all right we'll see you in the next video bye bye